In this video clip, we will add a new species and we'll actually go and fill in all of the fields. So the species that we want to fill in is carbon monoxide, with the data as shown here. So this data is all in the Cisco tutorial for you to go and look at for reference. Okay, so if I come back into my database and I want to add a new species, I can go down to this new button down here. So if I click on that, then it opens up a whole new table for me to type in. So I'll start here with the name. So the required name is carbon monoxide. I'll type that in. And the compound, so this is the short name, is just CO. The definition, and this is how many moles of each element is in that species. So in our case, we've got one carbon and one oxygen. And you may only have each element once. In our case, we look at the phase occurrence. This is a gas with an individual phase also of gas. The density, if I click on the little blue question mark there, I can see all the different types of equations I can use. I want to use ideal gas density. So I'll type that in. If this was a solid, you would probably just type in the actual density of the solid. The heat of formation of the species in joules per mole is minus 11054.1.28. The entropy, 197.661. And then the CP. So to see the types of CP equations, again, if we click on the little blue question mark, we'll get the whole list of the different sorts of equations we can use. In our case, we want to use this HSC CP. So if I click there, that gives me the form of that equation. I just have to go and fill in the values for A, B, C, and D. So the A value, if I delete A, it's actually 25.694. My B value is 8.293. The C value, 1.109. And the last value, the D value, is minus 1.477. The range that this equation is valid for in degrees Celsius, so I can delete Kelvin and Fahrenheit. It's valid from the low temperature of zero degrees Celsius to a high temperature of 2727. Okay, so that's our CP data. You'll see the solution data, the disassociation, boiling point elevation, they're all grayed out because those are only valid for liquid species. But here we come down to vapor properties. So we can have our vapor pressure property. And again, we click on the little blue question mark, and this time we want to use the VP Antoine equation. So that's the equation we'll be adding in. So if we get rid of the A value, and that's 14.3686. The B value is 530.22. And the C value is minus 13.15. So those are the A, B, and C, and then the minimum temperature for this is 63, and the maximum temperature is 108. Our critical pressure, 3.5 megapascals. Critical temperature, 132.9. Our vapors. 0 0.093, and the last one, the acentric factor, is 0 0.049. We could put our reference where we got this data from, and then where you want to check it. Most of this data came from the HSC database. And when you're finished, you click on the Update button, and that's now added that species to the database. And in our next section, we'll have a look at how do we add species 
into the configuration file. 